But another thing that we've been keeping track of are the effects of COVID itself on the body. Five years after the COVID pandemic, we're learning more about some of the long term effects. Of course, we've all heard about long COVID, but now there are symptoms cardiologists are warning folks about. And we chatted with a local doctor about a syndrome called POTS. So we're kind of talking about, you know, the concept of long COVID that we're seeing. So for yourself as a medical professional, at least from um, your point of view, uh, what have you seen in terms of just kind of long term um, effects that people um, have or are experiencing after getting sick with COVID? Yeah, you know, you know the most common as a cardiologist, uh, you know, I have to preface the fact that I don't see a pulmonary lung doctor. I'm not a general medicine doctor. I'm a cardiologist, so from the cardiologist perspective, the most common uh, sequela of um, what you call post-COVID syndrome might be what we call POTS, postural um, orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. I think that the incidents, have, I think officially have gone up maybe 20-fold, but it seems much higher than that, at least from my referral base. Yeah, and in kind of, you know, layman's terms, are you able to explain what this condition is for us? Yeah, actually, this is a, a, a it used to be a very, relatively a rare syndrome um, um, seen mostly in young women. Um, and it's where you get up suddenly and with uh, within 10 minutes, you have an increase in heart rate to maybe 30 beats per minute increase or greater than 120 beats per minute. Um, those, that's the official definition. Um, it's associated with a rapid heart rhythm for no apparent reason. Um, and it's been, you know, it's debilitating for some people who have it. Number one, you know, symptoms obviously be feeling dizzy and faint. Um, some people have fainted um, and you, they could feel the heart racing. Um, and sometimes it's associated with sh um, chest pain and shortness of breath. Um, but it comes with a whole host of other symptoms gastrointestinal symptoms, um, you know, um, uh, that could include abdominal pain, bloating, constipation and diarrhea, nausea, but it's also associated with neurologic symptoms like headache, brain fog, a blurred vision, and uh, fatigue. Um, and so we've seen, um, for some people, it's been quite debilitating. Um, and the in contrast to other sequelae uh, of COVID that is associated with a severe COVID, um, POTS appear to be, especially in young people, it, it could be post-COVID syndrome following a relatively minor, um, minor um, illness. Yeah, thank you for that. And um, just to make sure I'm understanding um, correctly, so you're seeing or you have been seeing kind of an increase in this in people who have who um, were sick from COVID at one point. Yeah, that's that's why we we call it uh, this is a post COVID syndrome. I mean, just letting you know how rare this condition used to be before uh, COVID. I probably had I saw a few people um, on on a you know, maybe a month basis. Um, not not more than twenty a year, but we're I'm seeing that almost on a daily basis. So the incidents have gone up tremendously, and 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 that's that's part of the reason why people believe that this is a part of a post COVID syndrome. Um, and, and in my experience, um, you know the 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 pot symptoms of tachycardia uh, upon standing um, may get better. So after you know, a few weeks, a few months, it gets better. The symptoms of dizziness, brain fog, and palpitation seems to persist a little bit longer. Um, and, and maybe up to a year, maybe even more sometimes. Yeah, thank you. And uh, or a few minutes ago, you mentioned that um, at first you used to see this uh, mainly among young women. Are you seeing this increase happen um, more so with that one group or is this kind of like all across the board like anyone um, regardless of you know kind of gender and age when they're getting COVID? That's actually you know it's interesting I'm not sure um, it could be a selection bias but it's mostly young folks young men as well um, college age right um, and if you ask them how bad was your COVID it wasn't enough to get hospitalized for right 
Um, so we, you know, maybe the maybe these are young people who are already predisposed to getting symptoms, and then once you get COVID, with um, you know, COVID is associated with a whole host of autonomic disorders, dysfunctions, and maybe it's unmasking um, what normally used to be a tolerable um, condition into something that is noticeable and sometimes debilitating. Yeah, that kind of leads me to my. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt a moment ago, but <laughs> if you wanted to finish that thought. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think um, it is a thing, it's, it's becoming a recognized um, um, condition and it's of concern to um, the medical professions. Um, the way we recommend is taking out, drinking a lot of fluids more than you might do. do. And, and take some increased salt to take, intake, opposite of what I re recommend as a cardiologist, but also avoid caffeine, alcohol, uh, sleep deprivation, anything that may put you a little bit off, off kilter. We try to you know use common sense. Um, exercise and physical therapy seems to be helpful. And then at, at the last, and also trying to be careful, being using common sense if you get up and you feel dizzy and faint, um, you know, just brace yourself and, and find a safe place and sit down. Um, and then we, and then as last resort, we do have medicines that we reserve for people who um, cannot tolerate, uh, cannot, does not get better. Symptoms don't get better in, 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 in certain individuals. Then we reach for medicines. By the way, we do have a COVID-19 special five years later happening on Thursday during our 530 newscast in the evening. We'll have reporters talking about a wide range of things now five years after the pandemic.